And some good news tonight on the vaccine front as the U.S. now has its fifth candidate heading to a final stage of testing. This one coming from Novavax. It'll now go to a 30,000 person trial, including part of it happening right here in the Bay Area. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido explains what that means for us. Using new technology that's never been improved, Novavax is one step closer to a vaccine that gives COVID-19 immunity. There hasn't been a vaccine that's been licensed with this technology, but they've been trying this technology for a long time. Virologist Dr. Michael Tang with the University of South Florida says the protein vaccine triggers the body's immune system, injecting a spike protein and a juvent to make sure the body can make antibodies to fight COVID. Early data shows people who get the shot have less side effects. The volunteers that got the vaccine, they have a higher neutralizing antibody response than even people that were infected. In phase three, 30,000 people need to be enrolled. Doctors with USF Health and Tampa General Hospital are trying to recruit volunteers. Do you want to cut across all those different groups if at all possible? Infectious disease expert Dr. Jill Roberts says the testing is targeted at communities and demographic groups most impacted by the disease, meaning anyone who is 65 and older black or Latino. So far, not enough people have signed up. We need people to actually volunteer for it. And that's really, really tough. What's the significance there to you um, as a healthcare professional? So it's really important to include those people in your clinical trial because those are the really those really are the people that we, we should be targeting next. With the phase three trial in the beginning stages, scientists are confident it will be approved and help vaccinate more people quicker. This can be stored at two to eight degrees. And so that additional stability gives us a lot more options for traveling this vaccine in different places in the world. And as we mentioned, there are four other vaccines that reached phase three trials in the U.S. Two are the ones already in use, Pfizer and Moderna. But let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into the two still in those trials. One from AstraZeneca comes in two doses, and it is four weeks apart. Researchers say it's up to 90% effective. The vaccine can be stored in a regular refrigerator for six months. The other, from Johnson & Johnson, Johnson, takes only one dose. Researchers don't know how effective it is just yet. The federal government has agreed to pay Johnson & Johnson $1 billion for 100 million doses if the vaccine is approved. There are other vaccines in trials in other parts of the world, primarily in Russia as well as China.